Hello people, welcome back. This question is from gate exam of 2007. It's for two marks. We need to perform this calculation. The first number is a hexadecimal number. Second number is a binary number. So base of these both numbers are not equal. That means first we need to make the base same. So converting hexadecimal number into a binary number is very easy. Okay, so let's convert this one into binary. C01. C means 12. Okay, so 12 is 1, 1, 0, 0. Then we have four zeros for this zero. One is triple zero one. Two two is double zero one zero. And again double zero one zero. Five is zero one zero one. So zero one zero one. This is how this number will be written in binary. Okay. So we have a decimal point here. Actually, it must be called a red X point. Decimal point is only for decimal number system. Here it is a binary point. Here it is a hexadecimal point. Okay. In general, this one is a red X point. Now, let's just copy this number properly by aligning the red X point. Okay. We have a red X point here. After red X point, it is 1, 0, 1. So, all of these bits will be zeros. Before red X point, we have 0, triple 1, double 0. 0, triple 1, double 0, triple 1, 0, 1. So, triple 1, 0, 1. Okay. This is the given number. Now, let us write zeros here as well and there as well. So, all of these bits, they are zeros. Here also, you have 5 zeros. Now, we need to perform subtraction. For subtracting these numbers, you need to know the concept of borrow in binary. I'm sure most, uh, most of you know this, but still I like to explain. See, suppose this is a very basic example. You need to perform this subtraction. You need a borrow for subtracting one from zero. Okay, that borrow is going to come from this bit. If we take a borrow of one from one, we will be left with the zero. Okay. And a borrow is given to this bit, it will become 10. In normal decimal number system, 10 is 10. But in binary, 10 is 2. Okay. So here you have 10. 10 means 2. But you need to give a borrow also. Okay. This has taken a borrow as well as given a borrow. When we took a borrow, it became 2. Now to give a borrow, you will be left with 1 only. Okay. And this one will become 10. Like this. Okay. So I'm writing the new number here. 10 means 2, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 will be 1. Okay, so this is 1. Now 1 minus 0. See, this is 0, 0. 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0. So 4, this number is 4, this number is 1, 4 minus 3, sorry, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So this is how we subtract an uh, binary. Okay. Also, let me write these 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 1. This will be 1 with a borrow of 1. Okay, it is 1 and borrow is equal to 1. Okay, 0 minus 0 is anyway 0. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Yeah, that's okay. Now, let us start this question. C. This number minus all zeros will be this only. Okay. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Now here we need a borrow because 0 minus 1 cannot be performed without having a borrow. That borrow is going to come from this bit. Okay. If we take a borrow of 1 from 1, we will be left with 0. Okay. Here it is 0. This will become 1. And this is going to become 1, 0. That means 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1. This is again, we need a borrow here. This is not possible without a borrow. Okay. So let us take a borrow 
from here. See, that means the borrow will be taken from this bit. If it gives a borrow, you will be left with zero. Okay. This bit becomes zero. Now we have solved till here. Let us just erase these. Okay. This bit becomes zero. This one becomes one. This one becomes one. And this one now becomes one zero. Okay. One zero means two. Two minus one is one. One minus one is zero. One minus one is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Here also it is zero. Now all of this is solved. Let me raise it. Now again you need a borrow. That borrow is going to come from this bit. Okay, see, we require a borrow here and it is going to come from here. Okay, this one, this bit, if it gives a borrow of one, it is going to become zero. Okay, and all of these bits will become one. It's not they became one directly. This bit will become zero, uh, become two. If we give a borrow to that side, one will be remaining. Similarly, it will become two. But after giving a borrow, one will remain. See, let me take an example. Suppose you have seven, four, zero, 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 minus three. Okay, in normal decimal number system. 74,000 minus three. You take a borrow from here. Three is left. This is 10. But after giving a borrow, it will be 9. This one will also become 9. This is 10. Okay, 10 minus 3 is 7. See, zeros became 9. Here, zeros are going to become 1. But they didn't become 9 directly. Earlier, this was 10. But after giving a borrow to this side, it is 9. Okay. I am going in this detail because there are few students always who just get confused in such concepts. That's the reason I showed you the basic example. Anyways, now this bit is going to become 1. But this last bit is going to become 1, 0. This one is 2 because we need not give a carry. Sorry, we need not give a borrow to that side. Okay, so 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1 and 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay, so this is your answer. Now we need this answer in octal number system. This is binary number system. Be careful. We need to start grouping from the red X point. Okay, some students start grouping from this side. Some students start grouping from this side. Both are incorrect. The grouping is always done from the red X point. Okay, see. Octal, that means base 8. 8 can be written as 2 raised to the power 3. We are in base 2. So to go into base 8, we will make groups of 3. Okay. So start making groups of 3. See, 8 is 2 raised to the power 3. If from base 2 you want to go to base 8, make groups of 3. If you want to go to base 16 from base 2, make groups of 4. Okay. Anyways, let's just quickly finish this. So, the last group of 3 is not possible because we have only 2 bits. Just append a 0. We can have as many as zeros here. Okay. So, this is 4, 1, 2. That means both these options can be rejected. Okay. And this will be 1, 0, 3. Okay, so this is 5. This one is again 3. And here you can see a group of 3 is not possible because we have only one bit. So append zeros. Okay, this will be 1. Answer is 1, 3, 5, 1, 0, 3, point. So it is 1, 3, 5, 1, 0, 3, point, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2. So option A is correct. Okay, this is your answer. Yeah, now pay attention. Some of you think that grouping is always done for from right hand side. But that is only in case when you don't have anything after this red X point. Suppose you want to convert this number into a octal number. 
सो वॉट यू विल डू यू विल स्टार्ट मेकिंग ग्रुप्स फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड ओके लाइक दिस सो इट विल बी वन फाइव फाइव बट वी आर एक्चुअली नॉट स्टार्टिंग ग्रुपिंग फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड वी आर स्टार्टिंग ग्रुपिंग फ्रॉम द रेड एक्स पॉइंट रेड एक्स पॉइंट एस हेयर ओके सो इफ वी हैड समथिंग हेयर ऑल्सो दैट मीन्स आफ्टर द रेड एक्स वील मेक ग्रुपिंग्स फ्रॉम रेड एक्स पॉइंट ओनली ओके 